We're taking it to the next level and converting this raft we built into a floating cabin to enjoy the breathtaking views of our remote lake in the Canadian wilderness. We're equipped with an electric motor, a grill, a dining area, clothesline, hammock, and lights. Today, the floating cabin becomes watertight, ready to sleep in, and float away in. Clementine's juice. The sheathing is going on the floating cabin. We're gonna have balls. We'll try this one. Hey! Hey! Welcome to the lake! <laughs> it's a nice house you got there. You know what you can always count on? Simplistic hammer. You know what you can't count on? Battery powered nail gun. It's broken five times on every single wall. Y'all think that was a quick work day? Well, it's because it was. Do you want me to? Just pour it on. Woo! Woo! You're gonna have a scar. You might stay there, that's What you didn't see is while we were just getting ready to go to work, I had stepped over a box of our tools, which now makes me think I'm getting those really nice DeWalt tool, car yes! <laughs> tool carriers that Jocelyn's been asking for. Stepped over the milk crate of tools and sliced my leg on the, what's it called? Multi. The multi-tool blade. blade, which obviously is not new and been used, so it's not looking. No, it's, it's just. Blade. That's why it was so sharp. Oh. Brand new blade. Ooh, <laughs> that makes sense. Cause well, at least it's clean. We hope the tools have just been floating around, but. True. Ew, the fat looks so gross. I can't talk about it. Sorry, mm -hmm. I just can't even get over how gross that looks. Not the best start to the work day. Stitches are done and they said it was a very good decision that I came in to get it stitched up to avoid infection and what else? It's just a really good decision. Like it looks amazing. They did such a good job. These are my DIY battle wounds as one of our patrons said. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pretty gnarly eye. So yes, it's healing. I got my tetanus and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good afternoon. We spent the whole morning sheathing our tiny cabin. I just dropped our multi-tool in the lake. Oh my oh, gosh. Man. I was so mad at it for cutting crystal. I thought I would teach it a lesson. You think it's still gonna work? Eventually when it dries out, yeah. Yeah, don't turn it on. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What are those, toes or hands? <laughs> Sucker feet. Now we're done. <laughs> this floating cabin now has sheathing. It now needs house wrap. This is an underlayment that's gonna protect the house, the wooden house, from the elements. So we're using Tyvex, Tyvek, for the very first time. And I'm very excited because we get to use our hammer tacker and we love our hammer tacker, right? Do we ever. All right. A slapper. Do you even have the hammer tacker ready? No. Oh my God. <laughs> Classic crystal. Puts it on. This is gonna look so cool. I've always wanted to use this. How about you? Yeah, hundred percent. We always see it on new builds and stuff, and I've always wanted to use it. We just wrapped the entire house. And tie back. One time. One time. But it went very smooth. I like this product. Bang, 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 go, go, go. We put in four roofing screws and then we go nuts with the hammer tacker. Well, it's fully house wrapped. This entire floating cabin has Tyvex and I have this super sweet blue tape. We're gonna tape this house up. Hey, tuck tape, tuck tape, so sticky. <laughs> tuck tape is easily the stickiest tape. When we were living on the West Coast and on the road when we were traveling in general, we used to see cars held together with this, so. Ah! 
That is some sticky stuff. Are you having fun? Yeah. My turn. <laughs> you only got one roll of tape, girl. I gotta share it. We've been tight on every single material thus far, everyone. Tight. We have no more Tyvex, except for the souvenir I kept of it. That was it? Left? That was it. all? You're this left. is my souvenir. I just completed my lifelong dream of Tyvecking. Tyvecking? A building. And this is probably the coolest building I will ever put Tyvek on. I didn't expect it to feel like this. I've Literally never touched it. I've only looked at other buildings when I drive around that have it on it, but it has like stitching inside of it. So it's very durable. I can't even rip it. The reason for the tape is obviously to keep the building even more watertight. I really like the Tyvek product. Not only does it keep it watertight, but if water does get in there, it is breathable. Water is able to run down, dry out whenever the sun comes out or any sort of nice weather. And you know your building will last a long time. For us, healthy eating starts here. For them, it starts down here. No, not just on the floor, in these bags. Sundays is only one of two foods in all of the US that offers complete balanced nutrition that our dogs need without fillers. Zero synthetics, it's actually food. It's human grade air dried dog food and their formula is 90% meat, 10% superfoods, 0% fillers. Like I said earlier, and it's shocking to learn just how little whole food ingredients there are in most regular dog foods. Have a look at these ingredient lists. They are ingredients that you know, that you eat, and that we all know to be extremely healthy for our dogs. Dogs live such short, precious lives, and we can all do our best within our control to keep them as healthy as possible by getting them outside and feeding them the healthiest food we can. Bella and Izzy have never been happier or healthier eating whole foods. We love Sundays, they're the best, and we're so happy to be sharing them with all of our fellow dog lovers as well. We have a code for you, code VANWISE, for 50% off your first order. No prep, no mess, no fridge. You're gonna love it, and your dogs are gonna love it. Welcome to the job site, Bella. Did you come for us or the snacks? <laughs> She's like, I'm only here for the snacks, everyone. Also, we are on the last window. And, so, and wall, I think, look at this view. That window to that door, everyone. That's breathtaking. Um, excuse me, miss. You're not very discreet. Welcome to the first window. I'm gonna start on the windows. That way we can install them pretty soon and this place is going to look like one beautiful floating tiny cabin. We need to use this uh, flashing tape. Hey, wow, it's sticky. Is it like butyl tape or? It's like butyl tape, it's super nice. Not only does all this tape and flashing work for rain, but also air. So it doesn't allow air to come up or in, keeping your studs in tip top shape. I think you put the bottom on first, now that I'm thinking about that. That's right. I caught my mistake. Oh God. As I was beginning to start this one, it clicked. And now I remember exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna do our second window correct. That's much thicker. Exactly what I need. <laughs> much better. Well, good thing we got a hardware store at home, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I watch like this. You place the middle perfectly down. Yes. Very busy day in the lake. We have four hawks flying over top of us right now. And a million fish jumping out of the lake. Real busy day. It's like they don't even know we're here. <laughs> oh, oh, it just sticks to everything. What the heck, keeps going on an angle, I don't care. Oh brother, there we go. Do you ever think about a fish's life in the wintertime? Yeah, they hibernate. Huh? They hibernate. They do? Well, they slow down. I don't think they hibernate. They hang out at the bottom of the leg. That's not hibernating. They do less. Bears hibernate. They do less. Yeah. 
We're at lunch. We're at lunch. You know it's four o'clock, eh? Why? Do you know it's four o'clock right now? Yeah, that's why I started making lunch. I think that's dinner. Our supervisor is back on the job site. Snoozing. Snoozing. Cheers. Thanks for dinner. If there's anything we know how to do, it's make a mess. Window time. Oh. oh my gosh, I thought it didn't fit there for a second. All right, so I'll take the level. Hey, hey, no. She's like, oh my God, there's a window there. Mom can see me eat my sandwich. Yeah, okay, yeah, so it's, it's leaning like this right now. I can literally see. I don't even feel that I can move it, so weird. Because we are perfect framers. It does look mighty fine. What can I say? I installed it with my eyes. <laughs> Dead nuts. So this is the bottom of my window. Now, this is another funny thing where everyone has a different opinion. If you should cock the bottom or not cock the bottom, we're gonna cock the top and the sides on the nailing strip. Go easy on it so you don't ruin the cock bottle. I love the smell of cocking. Someone told me that all cocking is made from the same brand. They just, they just stop, uh, slap a label on it. Hi Izzy. Um, let me know if that's true in the comments, please. Cause if it is, I'll stop buying this expensive LePage. No, 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 no. What? Wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. How is it wrong? Cause the way to open the window is on the outside. Oh my God, I cocked the wrong side then. It's fine. Just cock the opposite. Did you flip it on me then? I don't know. I, I just put the window down. Oh, I thought you Thank had the you window. you put the window down. <laughs> That's a lot of caulking I just wasted. I'm sorry. Let's caulk the actual nailing strip. We're going to be out of caulking because I'm dumb. For reals? It goes so fast. Time to go in. Blow that, please. Thanks. Ready? Yeah, girl. Dead center. What can I say? Not quite, but pretty good. It's kind of scary hammering so close to a window. Jazz, look. The amount of wildlife we've seen just parked with our floating home is wild, eh? I know. Those are your neighbors, Bella. I've never spent like this much time just on the water like all day. Yeah, just I know. hearing all kinds of frogs and fish and beaver and birds and... <clears throat> Dogs. And Bellas. <laughs> Hunting Bellas. <laughs> Look out. No. Bet you all were wondering how the pirate was gonna steer this houseboat raft. Through the window and the door. <laughs> we're thinkers. Open pits. It does. <laughs> We're Framer Nation! Woohoo! Do you like them? They open and close. Good work. This is like, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Look, okay. is it better than you ever imagined? It's, it's better than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> it's 8 p.m. Dare we try to install the door? I just can't. You really want to? Yeah. Right now. Why not? All right, let's do it. We need binoculars. Door install is completely canceled. We have a beaver show going on. Two beavers out there. There's probably a lot more. We knew they were here because of the slap. Their tail just goes. They are honestly this big, everyone. Like they're, they're huge. Like wide. That's wide. That's like long. And then they got the tail. So it's like that. Can y'all believe it? It's siding day. It's quite the pose you got going right now. <laughs> We've never installed vinyl siding before. Just Suzuki Bond cedar wood siding. I have been reflecting over the last couple of days being like, this is such good practice for house building. Okay, vinyl is cool. We're gonna start with our very first window side over here now that we've got the flow. Not only is vinyl fun, but working on a lake is even more fun. Check out what we just saw. That 
was a huge snapping turtle. Safe to say in the last few weeks, we've seen every animal you can see out here in the great Canadian wilderness. Literally a safari. Wow. Oh, look at that. Going that mama's gonna peck you. You went far, eh, bear? You like ducks? After doing the first side, we probably cut the vinyl siding with five different tools. And it turns out the easiest tool to cut with is your good old snippers. These. Metal snippers. We're not even using a single power tool. Find it faster, honestly. And we're like power tool queens. It's like arts and crafts. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm ready to never see this Tyvek sign again on this cabin. Vinyl siding is a yes from me. It is super easy to install. It's economical, it lasts forever. And although it's 6 p.m., you're probably laughing. Well, it can't be that quick, can't be that easy. This is so new to us. So every time we use a new product, we spend so much time learning how to do it correctly and um, the installation in general. So we're past that. I actually just reached the window, which means I need to box out the window with some trim in the correct form so that way I can continue siding up the building. Because our windows protrude out of the building, you don't want snow, water, or anything sitting on top as then it will go inside one day. This window gave me some trouble. I wouldn't say that folding origami vinyl around the window is my strong suit, but she's done. How much does siding transform a home? Wow. It's looking phenomenal. And we are officially on the last wall. And that's the front wall. Crystal is already cutting the channels that go along the door. That way we can put in our siding. Bing, bang, boom, like dominoes. Did you plan on doing the front side last, Crystal? No? Oh yeah, yeah, I did actually. You did? Yeah, why? Why though? I don't remember. She doesn't remember, but I was just gonna say thank you because if it was any other side, I have been doing a lot of siding <laughs> these last two days. And I honestly, it feels so motivated to do the front, just the way it's looking, the door and everything. It really is pulling this entire place together. figured if we started on the side we see the least. Wow, it looks so good. <laughs> the, the first one would look the best. You mean the last one? The last one would look the best. Yeah, the first one would look the worst. The first one would look the worst. Let me, you get it? We got okay. it. If you don't get it, say I don't get it in the comments. So bright and beautiful. She's the doorknob. <laughs> Not even sold in stores. Okay. For real though, lineup. where is the doorknob? Doorknobs. Door you lock it from the inside, right? <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, so we'll close it, see if it works in the knob. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is the, did you do it or did you not? Bam. It's really hard to level something on a raft. We definitely should have used like a string line. I think, then levels, because you move here, and then it goes there, and then you move here, and then it goes there. Try to come in. Locked. I fixed it. You're locked out. <laughs> Bella, it's our clubhouse. <laughs> the Bella and Jazz clubhouse. Good job. You fixed the doorknob, didn't you? We're so close to floating away into the lake for the evening. But first, we have a small list of to-dos that are very exciting. 
Starting with installing solar for onboard electricity. Loading tiny homes, getting power, everyone. Whoa. Solar power. Big day. I've always wanted one of these bits and I finally got one and that is amazing. You can drill, obviously metal, look at this thing. Looks like a dinosaur horn. And you can drill whatever length you want. It goes up to seven eighths. Like this is incredible. Added some tape around the hole because metal is super sharp and we don't want our solar wires ever chafing, especially because this is a floating house on water. So it's constantly rocking. So we want to protect our wires. Perfect. Perfect size panel to keep us out on the lake longer. And I'm not going to attach them right now because if you attach your solar and it's not attached to a battery, that means you have live wires, even on a cloudy day. I was telling Jazz, I was a little confused by the color of this door. Like who would really pick this color? Turns out doors come unpainted. You know what's smart? What? Painting the door before I put the handle on. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Flooring time. Installing the subfloor. Pouring in our house. A few shelves, our beds. Nothing screams camping like a nice cot. Can you pass me the funny pillow? Uh -huh. <laughs> I kissed the fish. Perfect. A small fridge. It worked. How fitting. Now we can get the fridge in and out. and a little box for storage. It's officially done. Time to test it out. Do you think it's gonna go? I don't know, we're gonna find out. It's pretty heavy for a 55 thrust, but... But? There's no wind. <laughs> You stay here for the test ride, Bella. We don't even know if it's gonna work, Bella. How's it going, Captain? It's going. We're getting farther. I can't believe it, to be honest. I didn't know if this was gonna work. We are officially moving. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Izzy's floating coach. And turns out our engineer design is working. Say hi, Captain. Hey. We got Captain there who can see out of the door. And then to hear her. Look how far we made it. Close your eyes, slow the pace on down. Let the sun kiss your cheek, feel the earth on your feet. We got so much to see, so why don't we step into the sunshine? Everything is alright, life has just begun. Good job, Captain. It was a success. We made it. I was on uh, the edge of my seat, literally and figuratively, because. It's a shallow lake, everyone. Out here in Nova Scotia, we don't have the depths that they do in other places. So we're really keeping an eye and you've gotta be real keen and know where you're going. So, we yeah. made it. Go us. We're out here with the loons now, everyone. We made it! We made it! It took a little longer, a little more drag, but we are out in the middle of the lake with the floating cabin, with the dogs and all the goods, ready to have a great day and a good summer. Certified engineers. This floating cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if I trust them. I was a little spooked getting out here, but I had a good captain. It might have hopped over a few rocks, but uh, we're here now. We went right over. Yeah, it's good. I know. Yeah. I actually can't get over it. I didn't think it would work. <laughs> Woo! House boat life! Oh, yeah. Oh. That's nice. No. That's so nice. Come on, baby. This is the good life. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, bear. <laughs>